I'm with Declan Murphy, Chair of Onchashka. Uh, revealing what's after happening this morning, Declan. It's, it's just extraordinary. We thought we were coming down here to uh, hear the Council consider a motion which has been tabled since June by Malcolm Noonan, Councillor Malcolm Noonan and uh, Kathleen Function. And uh, we arrive here and we discover that the whole thing is off. Uh, but it's just extraordinary. What seems to have happened is that the Council got legal advice on the whole situation and their solicitors uh, apparently told them that firstly uh, the an emergency meeting had to have five days notice even though we were told on Tuesday that it was three days notice. We arrive here we discover firstly it's five days and secondly that uh, the plan can't be reversed, that um, the uh, cast goes ahead, no more discussion, nothing, mo nothing more to do, it just goes ahead. Well you can see there's a huge crowd here, uh, it's reflective of uh, a broad, very broad cross-section of the whole community. What's going on, but what has really galvanised the public is seeing what's happening at the river. Uh, because in came the lorries, in came the pile drivers, uh, lorry loads of uh, 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 limestone boulders uh, dumped in the river to create a uh, kind of a pier or uh, a path, if you like, for the pile drivers to take on their track, their tract, uh, and uh, to get to the river edge, and they would drive piles, uh, which would become the basis for forming the four pillars that will support the bridge. When people saw what was happening, they were outraged. Already, uh, four of the mature trees, including an elm tree of all things in Peace Park, uh, had been cut down without warning in June and uh, people are just outraged now that they see the reality of the scheme. And I suppose also, Declan, from the point of view, the carriageway that's going to be cut across uh, Dean Street will perhaps split the city, some people are saying. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, just, um, it's just crazy because uh, Fault Ireland has put in uh, five and a half million into the works in the city, uh, the different uh, heritage things, and uh, to put money into the medieval mile when it's going to be transected by a major road uh, before it even reaches the uh, cathedral and the round tower which are which is the other end of the medieval mile it's just a nonsense it's just uh, beggars believe that people could uh, do this so it's it's a, it is a travesty now what is being said at the moment is well why weren't all these people around in 2008 well the reality is that most of these people didn't understand didn't realize what was happening because the consultation process for an eis like this is very very opaque and an I, eis is what exactly an environmental years. impact statement which yes. is what a council a, a county council uh, has to submit in a case like this and this is a big document and it deals with all the issues that would arise around around it in other words how it's going to affect the environment, how it's going to affect the water, how it's going to affect the air, the animals, the otters, the fish and so on. Then the built heritage, then the traffic, then the noise, the dust uh, and the impact on people. Uh, what uh, structures need to be um, removed or, or demolished to make way for it and so on. So it's a big document and it takes into account all of these things and a large number of uh, specialists have to contribute to it. So it's a serious, serious business. So um, there was an oral hearing held by on board Planola in uh, the Ormond Hotel, as I said, in 2008. Uh, and uh, the big room there was full most of the days um, and I was there, I mean it was difficult obviously for people to get there because it was held during the working hours. Um, I submitted, uh, I and my colleagues uh, did an oral presentation from the Kilkenny Association of Ontashka, but Ontashka nationally also made a, big, made a major presentation. The Heritage Council made a very, very important contribution and uh, submission to Onboard Planola. Um, and uh, also other groups like the Archaeological Society, the Royal Institute of Archaeologists in Ireland, uh, John Bradley, as I said earlier, who's a very distinguished yes. medieval historian and so on. And Declan, do you feel that has been all ignored? Of course it's been ignored. Well, I won't say it's been ignored, it's been overturned. It's been, uh, uh, you know, disregarded. The, the on board plan all I said, OK, it's permitted, it's permitted. And the council have ploughed on. Now that the work have started, the whole city and the people of the city can see what's involved. It's a desecration of the city. And I, we would submit that the consultation process was utterly inadequate and flawed. Declan Murphy, thank you very much. Great pleasure. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks very much. Yeah. Delighted. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.